don't know how you do it, Gare Bear, but that's the best cup of French toast I've ever had! Well, time to punch that clock! But not before checking my motivational quota day calendar! You are a winner! <laughs> it is time! Hello. Hello, Skipper. Oh, hi, SpongeBob. Skipper, the time has come. What do you mean? Look at the calendar and see what's coming in tomorrow. Tomorrow? Today is July's 21st. Oh, tomorrow is the 22nd of July. That means... That's right! Spongebob, cover up Patrick, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. I'll call in the others. Yes, sir! <laughs> the Conch Signal! To the Invisible, vote for me! Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow is the day when Mr. Wanapon turns 21. We've got to give him the most awesome surprise that he'll ever have in his life. But the only problem is, what kind of a surprise are we going to give him? Skipper, I think I've got an idea. I think we should take Mr. Wanapon to a cinema around 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Giving to for you, Hoki, Cecilia, Reen, Charlotte, Laura, and Maya Yamada to set up the surprise. And I hope Mr. Wanapon is going to love that surprise. Oh really, Kowalski? But what surprise are they going to give him? Oh, it's a very special top secret. All right, have it your way. And I've already know what movie will we take him to see. Tomorrow. Jeez, guys, thank you for taking me to see Jurassic World The Fallen Kingdom. Anything for you, friend. You know, I'm very surprised that Chifuyu allowed me to have a day off so you guys can take me to that cinema. A shame that Hoki, Cecilia, Reen, Charlotte, and Laura won't come. Yeah, I know. But because they're girls, how come she is the only girl who's coming with us? Our two hearts will become as one. From this day forward, we'll be sweethearts. Mr. Wanapon, do you have to ask about this? I mean, no insult. Ah, uh, never mind. Let's just go and see the movie. Two hours later. I must thank you guys for taking me to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom again. You're very welcome, Mr. Wanapon, but this is only the beginning. What do you mean? When we come home, there's going to be another surprise for you. Another surprise? For me? I will not tell you any more about this surprise until we get back to the Academy. I'm sure the family I raised with you will be just as happy. What's the matter, 
out of it, you are! <sighs> the Moral Station! To the Academy! It's been shut down! What? what? No lights, and there's no one around! Maybe a predator attack, or a street fuck attack, or a bully attack! Yeah, Ed, that's what street fuck attack means! Well, mark my words, everyone. Something is very wrong with that place. My corners hurts. Gee, that's a bad sign! What do we do? We should investigate! The medic is right. Let's go and investigate. Follow me! <laughs> Quiet, be careful everybody, and search everywhere! I don't think this was caused by an attack. I mean, look around you. There's no fire. No corpses. Mr. One upon his right. There's no blood on the floor. The buildings haven't been knocked down. No gunpowder! None of the windows have been smashed. Look, look, look! Up there! No cobwebs! Patrick! Cobwebs don't appear after attack. Will I be a crocodile's cousin once removed? Why, the whole place is still clean. Which means it's not cause of an attack that caused them to shut this place down. We couldn't find anyone! All the rooms are empty. Did you hear that? Uh, what was that? Sounds like whatever caused this to shut down must be in here. Right here, right now. I think I hear it from over here. The lad's right, everybody. Sounds like it's coming from in here. Yeah, in the corridors. Three of us are going to go in here and chase it out. Why is everyone looking at me? And me? <laughs> Come on, SpongeBob. Come on, Mr. One Upon. Come on, Pyro! Well, it's everyone's decision. 
Aren't you coming, guys? Don't be nervous, boys. We're right behind you, Free. Yes, right behind you. Well, could you stay close? Oh. So we'll know you're here. Mr. One upon it. I'm scared. Ah! What is that formidable creature? Looks like a sponge dragon. Pyro, it's fireproof! We've got to use another weapon! Arrow sponge? Oh great! Looks like this place is sprawling with intruders! Well, that's two intruders dead. We better report that to the others. <coughs> now I know the elephant. Oh, what next? <coughs> Well, I hope that's all the intruders. Let's tell the others that we killed the intruders. Don't jump into conclusion yet, SpongeBob. We don't know if there's any more intruders. We better scout around the area to see if there are more intruders. Okay. Hear that? It's in here. 
behind that door. I can't find the source of that sound. It's like it just disappeared. Ah! 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 Here it comes, boys. Yeah! Run! 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 To go and save Mr. Wanapon! Skipper is right! We must save Mr. Wanapon! Alrighty yes, then! Go for it! Move it! Move it! Hold on! We'll rescue you! Hello! What have we here? What is it, Getafix? It seems there is a door on the other side of this room. Then maybe that's where the kidnappers went with Mr. Wanapon. Why, this is a door to outside! We got to find some clues around here. Yeah, like tracks or something they've dropped. Meanwhile. Come oh on. Hey! Hey! I'm tied up to a chair! In the darkness? <laughs> What's going on? Welcome to the forbidden fairyland of paradise. Paradise? Looks more like a world of darkness! <laughs> It sounds like Mr. Wanapon, all right. Sounds like it's coming from in here. Then that must be where they got Mr. Wanapon. Slag, could you open the door, please? Me, Slag, open door. <laughs> There's only one use for a backstabbing crew like you! <laughs> All right. 
right, ladies, you've got some explanation to do. Explain why you're all dressed up in strip club outfits, shutting the whole academy down, and kidnap Mr. Wanapon. Why are you doing this for your amusement? What the hell is wrong with you? The burning you feel? It is shame. Oh, this is unbelievable! You disgust me. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see all of you. You do not believe where I've been through and what they've been doing to me. I mean, seriously. Hokey was dressed up as a fox priest that gave me a cup of tea, which I don't even drink tea. The only hot drink I drink is a nice hot chocolate. Cecilia was dressed up in a swimming costume with fake bunny ears that asked me to play snooker, which I was a bit good at snooker during my days in Abbey School. Then Charlotte Dunois in some kind of strange underwear which she said she was supposed to dress up as a French poodle, which she doesn't look much like a French poodle. I mean, if she have some more fluffy parts, and she would look like a French poodle. But never mind the costume. She was trying to feed me with her mouth. I was shocked and freaked out. And the cookie fell right in between her chest. Then there was Laura Voldovic dressed up in some kind of swimming costume with fake bunny ears too. And let me play on a game of darts, which I can win without. A hard challenge. <laughs> and you know what's worse? What's worse? What's worse is that Sharasky wearing her underwear, fake cat ears and fake cat tail, came along and tortured me again. And even more worse, she turned hokey Cecilia Read Charlotte and Lara against me! Almost like she wants me for herself, which I don't want to be with that horrible woman. <laughs> Crikey! What the hell was that crap? Yeah, what the hell was that crap? Is this a way to make his day great? Now all of this is ruined! Huh? All contestants, please return to the stage. We still have one more segment left to do. Haven't we all had a turn already? It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. <laughs> Don't say a word. If you do, I'll kill you. <laughs> now, open your mouth. <laughs> Here. I really still don't get it. Me too, Razzle. Yeah, is that supposed to be a surprise? Patrick, what are you doing? Well, isn't it obvious? The surprise is ruined. Ruined? What are you guys talking about? The surprise is ruined. <laughs> oh. Surprise! Wait a minute! Is that today? Is it really? Yes, it is, Mr. One Upon! Happy birthday! 
guys! You didn't have to do this for my birthday! Well, Mr. Wanapon, you always have ideas for your birthday party! But then Skipper and I had an idea of a great surprise without you even knowing about it. And at the moment when I saw the date of yesterday, I alerted Skipper and gather up all of our friends in the plan to give you the biggest surprise for you. And of course, we wanted to ensure that your celebration was a memorable one. So it is not just a birthday, but something special. Yeah, on the outfits from my idea, a fine German lieutenant said costumes make everything better. So this is the secret surprise that you have set up. Oh, I get it. Well, thank you guys. Yeah, well, I certainly hope you enjoyed everything we did for you. It was a bit embarrassing, but we all did our best. <laughs> I agree. And I thought you were especially wonderful, Miss Oimura. <gasps> no! Please forgive me, ma'am. Uh, Miss Yamada, thank you for helping my friends to set up this surprise. And you too, sis. <laughs> I am still surprised that you would do all this for me. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, it's been a while since the two of us spent my birthday together since my friends and I were little kids. Well, um, I have to admit you're right about that. Huh? What was that? Nothing! It wasn't important. I must thank you guys for giving me the best birthday surprise that you ever made for me. And thank you for following me and staying by my side. And my, my, what a number of subscribers! Thank you very much! And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, because there'll be more videos coming up! <laughs> oh, by the way, who did you think had the best outfit today? Ta da! Huh? <gasps> uh oh! Hmm, let me think. Stand here, please. Hold on a minute. Why don't we do the best part of his birthday? Alors, get me on the first flight to Finland. These people are insane. Business class, of course. Best birthday crash ever! <laughs>
Now that's funny. <laughs> Ow! That's it? That's the episode? <laughs>